So um, just doing this video in a little different space for you guys, uh, you know, just because I wanted to try something new. <laughs> and just not do like the whole setup. So anyways, um, with that being said, I had a question that was asked and the question was posed um, specifically, is there a higher demand for travel nurses than there is for travel PAs? And then um, if you did wanna be a travel PA, basically like kind of like what, how easy or how hard, how difficult is it? So that's what I'm gonna be answering in today's video. So let's get into the video right now. what's up you guys uh it's adana welcome back to my channel okay so i have done a vis video like a few months back about being a travel pa basically a locum tenens so like doing contract work and you know working for you know let's say 13 week contracts or eight week contracts in different places and how you get paid really really well because obviously they're not paying for any type of um, benefits so they can pay you a little bit higher um, and kind of like what the outlook of that is from a PA standpoint because you hear about travel nurses all the time and so someone asked me is there a greater demand for travel nurses and the answer is yes of course there is because there's a great there's like a greater larger demand for nurses in general there's this shortage like there's not enough nurses working in the various different hospital systems medical systems right now and so there is a huge demand for travelers to come in uh, and just nurses in general you know trying to get not necessarily just contract workers but people to actually become staff because in the long run uh, it's a little bit less expensive for the company however um, with that being said that does not mean that uh, you have a more difficult time finding a job as a contract PA like in my email box right now I have like over 50 different companies sending me information on various different contract work and contract positions in my current state and in states um, across the nation. Now, obviously, like right now, I'm very happy where I'm at. You know, I'm happy at the hospital I'm at and working in the specialty that I'm currently working in. I've just made this switch to OB. And so it's I'm not really looking for anything like contracty. However, if I was a new grad coming out as a PA, I think that that would be really actually a good option for you to look into to getting a contract position. So how easy is it? Um, I would say if you are currently like about to get out of PA school and become a PA, or even if you're like you've been a PA for a year or two, definitely go to AAPA. There are a plethora of um, contract um, companies. Like I'm trying to think of the word really that I'm looking for. Agencies. There we go. There are lots of agencies that are currently looking for new people to bring on board to kind of fill these various different contracts that they have with different offices and locations and so that is really a good way like that's where I put my information in when I was just about to graduate from PA school um, and luckily I got a job pretty much right out of like PA school and, and passing the boards but obviously if I hadn't I could have worked these contract positions um, with the possibility of staying on and actually just continue to make money and make really good money at that. So that is what I would suggest. Go to AAPA, get with one of these agencies or just kind of put your resume and and your you know your application out there on Indeed and ZipRecruiter um, and local tenants and look for contract positions that way if you are interested in being uh, a travel PA. Um, I suggest that for anybody that really doesn't have have any ties to one specific place um, and you know maybe you have a family that's pretty like kind of go with the flow and mobile and you guys can just kind of go um, where the wind blows but definitely do that and those are the options that you have out there and trust me like they're always looking for PAs and so um, it's just a matter of putting your application out there and then seeing what happens you know playing the waiting game um, and I think I'll talk about that next week uh, just or maybe this coming week uh, the waiting game okay so if you're interested in hearing about that and like how and what you should do while you're in this process of waiting for 
you know, a yes from your particular school or grades or whatever the case may be, or like, you know, a yes from a job interview, um, you know, check out this video. All right. That will be coming like next week, I would say. All right. Thank you guys so much for asking this question. I really appreciate it. If you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at on the PA and on Instagram at Get That's the University, where we help you not only get into, but through PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.